Two and nine, we're learning more about grandmother killed in a hit and run. This happened in Goodyear, but there's not many leads right now. No, her family's searching for answers tonight. Fox 10's Justin Lum joins us live with what we know. Justin. Christy Smith was going to turn 43 years old next month. She lived in Glendale, but somehow ended up dead in Goodyear last week. Right now, the most credible lead is the description of the car the suspect drove off in. I do want to find pretty much anything that we can get because it's, she just didn't deserve any of that. Not far from the Loop 303 in the area of Camelback and Saraval Roads, there are two lanes of traffic and not much around besides dirt and brush. Here is where Goodyear police found 42-year-old Christy Smith's body last Tuesday just before midnight. Investigators say a car driving westbound hit her and kept going. She had a beautiful spirit, um, always positive, wanted to make sure everybody around her was having a good time. Ashley Burkett is struggling with the sudden death of her mother. They live together and Smith cherished becoming a grandmother of two. Watching her with my kids, just to see what a wonderful grandma she was. There's no words to describe how much I miss her. Burkett has no idea what led up to the hit and run, but she says Smith was found wearing only a t-shirt. Goodyear police released info on the suspect vehicle with this stock photo, believed to be a silver 2018 to 2021 Toyota Camry. Investigators say the car probably has damage to the front passenger side headlight and a damaged windshield, with possible damage to the passenger side window and mirror. A daughter now pleads for any information that can lead to justice for her mother. I understand being scared and, and feeling guilty, but it's just this is my mom and I just want to be at peace knowing what happened to her. If you have any information, please call Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. You can remain anonymous and could be eligible for a cash reward. Reporting live, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.